die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Barato! Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to the cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. My king? Would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> <laughs>
gods give me strength. the temple at Kippur. He builds this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacombs. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. Okay. You Arcadians were strong. Seems this curse has made infants of you all. Death 
for nothing. They died in vain for a mad king. Help me with this. <clears throat> you first. We're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gotiam. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy... ...is a friend. We help each other. Always hope. What was that? How many ways into this tomb? We're not alone down here. Over here. No escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword!
Peter, on the edge of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. We're glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Didn't you hear? The new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Cold check. First lieutenant. Cold check. Well, the briefing room? What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. 
Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. All right, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Baby, I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. You have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenails. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. It makes me smile. <laughs> we got the CIA. We got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. <laughs>